We're here with VM Blog at VMON 2022, and we're here at the Backblaze booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMON? Yeah, thank you. So my name is Elton Canero, and I head up the partnership team here at Backblaze. Backblaze is a cloud storage company that focuses on making cloud storage simple, easy, affordable, and we are trusted by over half a million customers globally. We have over two uh, exabytes of data under management, and that's spinning on something like 230,000 hard drives, which we talk about in our quarterly report of the hard drive stats. And um, maybe can you give us kind of a little more of a technical briefing on how your uh, solutions work? Yeah. So Backblaze B2 Cloud Storage, it's, you know, as I mentioned, it's cloud storage that's uh, available via an S3 API, S3 compatible API. And all an application needs to do is be able to talk to this S3 compatible API to read and write data into our cloud storage. The data is always accessible, single tier, and it's a fraction of the price compared to the folks like Amazon, Azure, and Google. And how do you partner with Veeam, and uh, what's the value to Veeam users? Yeah, so Veeam and Backblaze have been partners since we launched our S3 compatible API in 2020. Uh, we basically allow Veeam customers to achieve that 3 to one backup strategy by keeping that third copy of the data offsite, specifically in our cloud storage platform. And this allows, uh, and by doing that, customers can benefit from features like our object lock, which gives them the ransomware protection and an immutability protection that they're looking for to keep that data protected. So in case they have any to access it, it's always available, but also, more importantly, nothing can modify it, nothing can you know, delete it, nothing can you know, change that data because it's been, it's been locked. Great, and I understand you have a demo here that we can maybe take a look at the product? Yeah, absolutely. We can definitely show you how simple it is to get protected with a Backblaze and Veeam. Uh, the concept that we like to talk about is being able to achieve ransomware protection in just two clicks. You basically enable object lock on your Backblaze B2 bucket, and you go and enable the mutability on the Veeam software, and this basically protects all your data for whatever specified amount of time you want to keep that data protected for. So what are you going to show us? Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to get going with Backblaze B2, and as well as how easy it is also to enable uh, and configure Backblaze within your Veeam backup and replication uh, uh, application. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so that's just going. So on the Backblaze website, um, to get started, you basically Right on the front page, get astonishingly easy cloud storage. You can click on the Meet B2 cloud storage and then hit the sign up button at the top. This will allow you to create an account that you can then go and use to store that data. Once you have an account uh, and logged in, the first view you'll see is your Backblaze B2 buckets view. This is where you'll go and create a Backblaze B2 bucket. So creating a bucket is as simple as going in and giving the bucket a unique name. So this name has to be globally unique. So I'm going to give it a name. So we gave it a name. Uh, the important thing in here, when you're creating this bucket, you have to make sure that object lock is enabled on the bucket. This will make sure your data is protected against ransomware attacks. Uh, as we all know, ransomware is targeting backups right now. So not having your data, prote your backups protected with object lock uh, is, 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 is not a good idea because, as we know, uh, this, that data is prone to be also uh, you know, affected by the ransomware attack. Mm -hmm. So create the bucket. You can see the bucket has been created. You have all the information you need. You also have the endpoint in which the bucket exists in. This will be important to be used in the Veeam uh, uh, BNR application. The next step is to create an application key and a key ID. So on this page, you basically go and create Click on add a new application key. Give it a name of, as well as uh, details on what you want the key to have access to. I'm going to call it my Veeamon key. And I'm going to give it access to all my buckets and so on. You could restrict this to a specific bucket and give it specific permissions. But for the demo purposes, I'm going to give it basic access to uh, all, all, my, um, all my buckets. So. Uh, you can't have spaces in the name, so just go and give it a name and then create a new key. That information will be exposed to you. So this information is only going to be exposed once, so make sure you keep track of the application key in a secure location. We recommend using a password manager. This is make sure that your, your data is not, you know, you're not storing this data on 
uh, regular text files and so on. Once you do this, you hop into the Veeam application. So on the Veeam application, the first thing you do is you create a backup repository and you go and add a repository. You choose what kind of repository you want. In this case, we're going to choose object storage and we're going to choose the S3 compatible. Backblaze B2 is S3 compatible object storage. So for a name, I'm just going to go with back, call it Backblaze. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to give it an endpoint. As I mentioned, the endpoint is the URL in which was exposed to you when you created your bucket. In this case, it's s3.us. And then I'm going to add credentials here. And then this is the information that we get from our, uh, from, from our, sorry, from when we created the application key. The access key is a key ID, so we're not going to copy that. We're going to go back into here, paste that in there. Copy the, sec the application key is your secret key. Hit OK. Click Next. Choose the bucket you want to use. You can browse the bucket. You can see I have my Vmon S2022 SE test bucket. Choose the folder I want to use. Create new folder. I'm going to keep this data in Veeam. Choose OK. And this is the important feature. Make recent backups immutable for X number of days. By default, that's 30, right? So you can specify that uh, uh, you know, this is a configurable amount of time. Obviously, you want to be based on your compliance regulations, based on your needs. You can tune this to have many days you want. And then you're going to hit Apply. This will go and add the backup repo, uh, Backblaze V2 as a backup repo within your Veeam uh, backup and replication application. So right now we have that completed. You can see it exists now. The next step is to define a scale-up backup repository. So to do a scale-up backup repository, you go into the scale-up backup repositories and you create a scale-up backup repository and then give it a name. Scale out to B2. Hit next. Specify your performance tier. So when you're doing a scale out repository, you can choose your, which is your back, which is your performance and which is your capacity. In this case, backwards is your capacity and your performance is, the performance tier is going to be your local repo. And then we're going to choose next. Go next. We want to extend out the scale up backup repository to Backblaze B2. And we want to choose that we want to move, copy the objects as, they, as soon as they have been created, as well as move them to B2 after X amount of times, which removes them from your performance tier and keeps the copy only in Backblaze. We hit apply. And now your scale out backup repository is ready to go. And all you do is on your home page, you can basically uh, define a backup job and specify where that backup job should be going to. So you can go and choose a new job. You can choose a new backup job. You want to basically do a virtual machine backup. And then when you go to the process, and then on the storage, oh, you choose the VMs in the backup. Choose the VMs you want from your environment. So we're going to choose some from, from our sales environment. We can choose uh, deploy 
uh, let's choose this VM here. And this is where you choose the back, the, the, the repo you wish to use. We defined our scale out backup to B2. This will basically allow you to uh, back up to your local and then off to B2. And then once you're done, you just run the job. And you just go ahead and run the job when you're done. Hit start, and off it goes. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks for that great demo. Yeah, thank you. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Backblaze and some of the stuff that we've seen here today? Yeah, getting started with Backblaze is really easy. Uh, you go to our website, backblaze.com. You can sign up uh, for B2 Cloud Storage right on our website. Um, if you wish to talk to a salesperson, we're happy to engage with our customers. We love talking to our customers. You just fill out the contact sales form on that page, and one of, uh, one of our members of the team will, will reach back out to you and get you, get you going with Backblaze. Um, we're also happy to walk you to a demo on how to configure. We have great solution engineers that can help you get going with Backblaze B2 and B. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. Yeah, thank you very much for having me.